The classic film Fargo celebrates 25 years this week. Changed my life for sure. Yeah. I mean, obviously all of ours, yeah. but. Uh... And we had no idea what we were getting into at the time. From the accents to the wood chipper, we decided to look back at the movie that helped make Minnesota famous. WCCO's David Schumann spoke with local actors who starred in the film and visited some Twin Cities area locations where they shot some scenes. And well, gosh, yeah, we hope you enjoy it. You can't talk about Fargo, let alone celebrate it, without bringing up the accents. And they turned it up to 11. Yeah, they know? did. They went just, just, just past. They wanted to kind of highlight it. I remember seeing the film and I thought, oh, I should have done it so much more. That's Michelle Hutchison. She grew up in Minnesota and playing the escort opposite oh. Steve Buscemi was her first film role. Michelle joined our little Fargo reunion along with Tony Denman who played young Scotty Lundegaard. Even as a 40 year old man, I'm still the kid from Fargo. <laughs> and Larissa Kokerno who was in one scene. I didn't grow up talking like a Minnesotan, but gosh, I can get into it any second. I spoke to them on the roof of the downtown Minneapolis club parking garage, the same place a Buscemi shootout scene was filmed. Joel and Ethan Cohen, who wrote and directed Fargo, are from St. Louis Park and used several Twin Cities locations in the movie. There's a shot of the Lakeside Club in Matamidi. An attendant in the movie is killed in a booth at the Center Village parking ramp in downtown Minneapolis. Yet another local location. This room right here, number seven at the Hitching Post Motel in Forest Lake, is where William H. Macy's character was arrested at the end of the movie. The motel is still open today. He's like, yeah, this was like in that movie Far the, or Fargo or something. I was like, really? In fact, Wyzetta, Chaska, White Bear Lake, Stillwater, Edina, and Eden Prairie are all mentioned in the movie. Local author Todd Melby decided to take all this and write a book about it. A lot can happen in the middle of nowhere, the untold story of the making of Fargo. I asked Todd what he thinks makes the movie such an enduring classic around here. It held up a mirror to us, like this is the way we are, and it also showed the rest of the world how we are. Now, lots of Minnesotans didn't like that, but, you know, it's pretty much true as far as the puffy hats and the funny accent goes. Fargo has followed Tony, Larissa, and Michelle around for 25 years and will continue to do so. Something, you know, they're pretty proud of. I'm happy to embrace it because there's, you know, we were just kind of saying that, like, how, how could you ever be in a better film? David Schumann. Oh, yeah. WCCO 4 News. Uh, Todd's book about the movie is now on sale. And we put an extended version of our interviews with him and the three actors on our website.